A long, slow, deliberate walk with a few pauses to rest. The goal? Getting the COVID-19 vaccine. Yeah, <laughs> get it over with. Retired registered nurse Violet Bennett came from Columbia with the help of her granddaughter. Like many others, she had trouble getting online to get an appointment. Well, I was running into them myself because I'm not very computer savvy. My granddaughter's very good at it and uh, she has a network of friends and they notified her there was an opening this day and she got on and signed us up and also my brother. 66-year-old Gloristine Green of Baltimore says she had no issues setting up appointments for herself and her 78-year-old brother, James Alston, but she did have one worry. Because I don't like needles, but it was very nice. It wasn't, it wasn't hard, it didn't hurt. Meanwhile, on this President's Day holiday, members of the National Governors Association sent a letter to President Biden. In it, they outlined concerns about federal and state governments working together to solve the COVID-19 crisis and making sure citizens understand the vaccine distribution process, especially because of anxiety created by limited supply of the vaccine. The NGA also wants coordination between federal and state governments for pharmacies administering vaccines. Back at the convention center, an Annapolis woman is pleased. She got her first shot and has an appointment for her second. She had no questions about the vaccine. Oh, no. No. Have to. Did your doctor tell you to get it? Or? No. So tell me, who decided I'm going to get this? Me. Why did you decide? Because I know science. <laughs> And the governors are hoping that their letter will lead to much better coordination. Reporting live from downtown Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV 11 News.